everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody is having a great day. Well, we have another unbagging. So let's open this up and see what lies under the plastic. Let's get it to go. All right. Just gonna pull it out. We got this big diamond planing. I'm trying. Hold that. I dropped a piece of paper. All right. Well, we got a few things to go over. Let me look at these just a bit. All right. This is from DIY Digital Art. And this will be in two parts. So, Let's see what we have available here. I see strings. Oh, look, they're little ornaments. They're so cute. I like how they tucked it all into one bag. That is awesome. You put that up there because we're going to need that. You have all the strings to go with them. So we'll just set them aside. Comes with a tool kit, two pieces of wax, a boat, and a pin. Let's take a look at these. Now they're just on, <coughs> excuse me, heavy cardboard. So that's cool. Well, I'm trying to see if we can get the plastic. They're just really lightweight. Oh, they're very sticky. They do have a a little punch out thing. These were four twenty five. So if you had like a little tree you wanted to decorate a tiny one, yeah, these would work really great. So we have a bell, and we have one that looks like a Christmas ornament, another one in green, one in red, if I can get a hold of it, this looks like kind of like an apple, we have another bell, aren't they beautiful? And they look like they'd be so easy to do. Because you only do one side. And when you add the diamonds, um, it'll make them sturdier. Now you can also coat them with something if you'd like. And we have a mitten. Isn't that cute? So there's eight of those in there. I just thought they were precious. And there'd be a good little um, project to do with your kids or grandkids, you know, when you go over there for Christmas. They can make ornaments and feel like they've accomplished something. Let's look at the drills. Let's like get it open. Nice and sticky. All right, let me lay that up there. Saving all the plastic. Each one has the project number and either a letter. I haven't gotten that far, so I don't know if it's letters, numbers. It's usually how it goes. We have some orange iridescent little teardrops. We have crystal teardrops. Look at those greens. Ooh. We have little hearts. They're so cute. And then, let's see what's in here. I'm trying to get to the end. Yeah, they either have a number or a letter on them. And those are going to correspond to your little pieces. Let's look at it this way. Ooh, look at all the red. Woo! And silver. Ooh, I love that blue. 
It's like a blue violet. It's beautiful. A little orange. A little dark green. And those are kind of a cream color. I don't know how to explain it. I hope you can see that. Then we have some iridescent round buttons in white. We have some red buttons. Ooh, look at those. Mm. I love that green. It's got purple and green and silver. Just everything in it. I like those. Ooh. And we have some and they look crystal, but they've got like an iridescent coating on them. Teardrops. We have marquees in white that have an iridescent coating on them. We have stars in silver. Beautiful. And some big red buttons and some white buttons. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 different drills in this. So that is awesome. Loving it. And they're all cooked together. Just beautiful. Nice packaging. I don't see a lot of trash or anything. Not any trash at all, for some reason. Okay, let me see here. I'm going to uh, get a hold of all this, because I don't want to lose all the strings. We're just going to put it right back in there. And maybe we can get all that in there. Oh, come on. Seriously? It was sneaking out the back door. And we're going to put that in there to sturdy it. So that's project. I like those. We'll set that up there. Now, we're going to look at this big bad boy. Holy cow. Nice heavy duty bag. Holy cow. Come on. Let me see if I can get it out of there. I think this was going to be this big. It's going to need to be ironed. I'm just going to set that up there. And let's take a look. Got a little crunch on the end. That's why I said it's going to need to be ironed. Just a bit. Oh gosh. Yeah, this is a square. How can I tell? Look at the, the drill field. Yeah. Let's get it undone here. And pull these out. Comes with the boat, wax, and pin. Small piece of wax. So it's not that, yeah, look at, it's going to have to be. Have to be fixed. Let's see. This one is... 40 by 50. It's called Country Snow Road. So you got a barn. And a little, I don't know if that's a house. Something is sliding. And trees. Does have a little picture here. All that thought. I will insert a picture of this, but you can see it's got snow, and there's a little tree, and a tree over here, and a little building in the big barn. Isn't that beautiful? Just gorgeous. Yep, it's a square drill. Oh, dear. Has 19 colors. I think I can get this to lay flat. And get it a little bit flatter. Let's see how sticky it is. And all you have to do is just turn this over, put it down on a piece of a, not a piece, a towel, and iron it. I ironed two of them yesterday, 
and they turned out great. They really did. But the drill field seems nice and clear. It's a little confetti, but hey, it is what it is. That makes it all that much more pretty. Just beautiful. Let's, oh, I was like, where did it go? I'm always losing my, my thing here. Okay, the entire thing is, move over please, uh, 50 by 40, exactly. The actual picture is, whoa, uh, 44 and a half. by 34 and a half so it's a good size and you can see things that are in there and like I said it has a little bit of confetti down here in these trees but you do have some bigger parts and easier to see parts I like that part I like that part 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 let's take a look at these beautiful drills oh I'm oh they're in bags so that's a good thing like I said it's a square and you can see your, oh goodness gracious, I'm going to try to brighten that up a bit. Looks like blacks and burgundy, some olive greens and pinks mm, and white for the snow. Uh, 3866 and 3865. So there's two shades of white there. Never had 3866 before. 3865, yes. But they're all in nice baggies. Tells how much they weigh. And it does not give. It does on the bag. See this JF163? At the top here it says Diamond Painting and it says JF163. So those are on. That number is on this bag, but not on the individual bags. But they're already in baggies, ready to go ahead and just diamond paint. Just beautiful. And I like the colors. They look kind of muted, if you will. You do have a little bit of bright for the, uh, the barn and stuff. But just beautiful. I am not taking that out of there because I will never get that in there. But there is some, there's some weight to that puppy. Just beautiful. I love it. I think it'll be a gorgeous, gorgeous diamond painting. Let me put this back. And I will iron, iron it when I get ready to do it. So all is not lost. You know, even though it's crinkled, it's not crinkling up the glue if I can explain that right which is a good thing all right let's set that up there out of the way it's heavy lots of drills in that one all right and what do we have here this is called four season winter and it is a 40 by 40 it is a joy Sunday it comes in a lovely bag from joy Sunday love it love these resealable bags I just keep my project in them, you know. They take a lot of abuse. Get that out of there. Good gravy. It, sometimes they're just really stuck. There's that beautiful picture. You got mountains, you got a little town, you got a bridge. Just beautiful. And this one was $8 from Joy Sunday. Comes with a nice booklet, nice picture of it. So there's, I don't think that's two pages. All right, so you got one, two, three, four, five, six pages on that. It has 14 colors, nice beard thing. It is only cross stitch, so that makes that easy. 
Let's take a look at those beautiful colors. Okay, they're short this time. Hold on. Comes with two needles. Nope, actually three are in there. Isn't that cool? Comes with extra blue. That's why it's over here all by itself. And the rest of the colors are blues and browns and greens. A little bit of pink. Maybe that's for the sky. Is there sky pink? Yeah, the pink goes in the sky. So it looks like a nice, easy little project. Oops, sorry, I forgot. So, yeah, just beautiful colors. Beautiful, beautiful colors. I love that pink. It's kind of a, a pale, pale mauve-ish. It's got a little bit of purple in it. So it's not really just pink. I love those browns. Mm, that'd be beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Love Joy Sunday. Let's leave this over here so we know what we're doing. Put this up there out of the way. And let's take a look at the canvas. The canvas is surged all the way around. But we knew that was going to happen, right? Got to turn it around. Hang on. Upside down. All right. It says product number. And this is the other number that's on the front of the Joy Sunday thing. Four Seasons Winter. It's 175 by 175. And it is a 14 count. Nice, clear, easy to read. Symbols are all nice and clear along the bottom. Big, big. I like that. So you can see exactly what you're looking for. But this canvas... It's nice and clear. It doesn't have... There's no confetti in here. They're just like in ribbons of color, which is kind of cool. I like that. They, uh, some days, you know, I just can't... I'm not about the, the confetti thing. So this would be one good one to pick up. You could just work on a section at a time. It is 40 by 40. Wow. And the center part should be about hmm, 30, 29. Yep, 29 by, if I can get it where it's supposed to be, by a little over 29. I can't tell if I'm at the top. So I'd say 29 by 29. But that is so nice and easy and just, yeah, it's beautiful. And I like how they have bright, vivid colors for their their patterns on the canvas. And you can see them. Yeah, the thing I like about this is that there's no confetti. Oh, there's three or four colors right here, but it's not every third one, you know. Hmm. Some days. That life in me does not get along. All right. See what we got next. Well, you remember the autumn one that I got? This one's a little closer up. This is a 20 by 20, and it's the winter view. It says winter outside the winter window. Winter outside the window. Say that three times fast. But we got cocoa and cookies and a snowman out there. We got the cat sitting on the the porch next door, and a big old pot of hot water to make your hot cocoa with. And marshmallows. It just looks like winter. 22 by 20. Joy Sunday, of course. And let me get it out of the bag. Put the bag up there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get up there. My little avalanche is growing. So let's look at the... Beautiful picture. Just beautiful. And it has some back stitching in it, guys. But that's going to be okay because it's going to make the picture. You know, you can see all the branches, the birds out there, and around the snowman, around all the cups. A little bit on the teapot, like basically on the outside. So that's not too bad. 
and it does have half stitches so it has full stitch half stitch back stitch and French knot and I don't know hmm be interesting to see where those are at let me see oh it's on the snowman because you got to make his face so there's two four five French knots or you could use small beads if you had them yeah cool so that's not oh and it has half stitch and back stitch sorry my bad I'm anxious to see the colors so you got 38 colors in this they're long blues look at that blue isn't that beautiful mm. browns whites comes with two needles did I say that I'm trying everything is not going in the right direction okay kids let's play fair more blues and whites and grays so this will be quite shaded beautiful and there's only like one or two strands of each color so that's nice let's get looking at these on the other side if I could just get it there's your cookie color and the handle for the the teapot so you got reds and golds and browns for the uh, the windows and the tree just a nice mix of colors beautiful let me roll that up so nothing happens to it I can't believe it has 37 colors it does have half stitches so those are like the shading out there in the yard isn't that cool I like that cool I like when they do that I think it, it looks really neat when it's done oh my goodness yeah that and small now this okay it's surged all the way around we'll start there it's fairly small and it's kind of difficult I mean you really have to look at it very hard just to see this the key down here and you can't read this one at all or this one so you're gonna to have to use the this paper to know what color is what and where but it has a nice big, it's about 11 count look <coughs> to, uh, yeah. So this is clear. This, it's fairly clear. It's a little, but it's not going to do you any good. Because you can't read this part right here where it says half stitch. This is the rest of the numbers for the full stitch. They just tried to cram everything in there, and it's not good. Not good at all. So you'll have to use your, your thing. But it's nice and big and easy to read. So, yeah. Let's see. What size is it? 22 by 20. So it's fairly small. The whole canvas is 22 and a half. by 19 and it does have the two numbers that are on the joy sunday and it also says, says winter outside the window i just thought it was a cute little picture but holy cow it's got some issues and did i finish oh my goodness sparkly squirrel 22 and a half by 19 so it is 22 by 20 that's what it says the actual is hmm, about 15 and three quarter centimeters by 
13 and 3 quarter centimeters. So that's like 5, 5 by 6, really? And a little over 6. And about 5 and a quarter. So it'd fit mm, in a 8 by 8 frame. But yeah. But I've just never seen all these. You can't read that at all. I'm a little disappointed. They could have made the whole thing a little bit bigger. But at least they give you a good key right here. You'll just have to work with it, you know, on that. Mm. I don't know. I've never seen one that small. Okay. And let's see. The that was four twenty five. And the one with the bridge was eight. The ornaments were four twenty five. And the Country Road Diamond Painting was eleven seventy five. And this one is was eleven fifty. And it's gonna be a sixty by forty. And I will insert a picture. Let's get it out of this. Whoa. Issues. We got extras. All right. I'm going to put that up there. Comes with a toolkit. You have a bobbin, a threader, a ripper, a poof ball with five needles, and a so called thimble. Yay. Trying. Comes with. Now, this one's nice and big. It has 38 colors. And you can't tell from this what it is, but at least it's big enough to see the symbols. These symbols will match the ones on the canvas. Hmm. But I'll try to show you the picture. Get that there. It's like a town scene. You got Santa up here. I don't know how much of all this, this is going to show up. But it's a 60 by 40. So you got Santa and the reindeer up here. And then you got a snow and little houses and stuff. Then you have bigger buildings in front. Then you have a road. People in sleighs. With horses going down the road. And you have people standing by. Looking, you know, at the people going down the road. So, yeah. There's a lot going on in this. Mm, yeah. Let's see what happens. Beautiful colors, though. Oh, and it's going to be a confetti night. Now. Put that up there because I like to save that and the threads don't get dusty. We have a big hank of 762, which is kind of a, I don't know, gray, gray white. It's got a little black in it for some reason. I mean, black within the white. I didn't mean that there was dirt on it. Just saying. Holy cow. There's a lot of thread here. Holy cow. Come on. They're nice long threads. I'm trying to get everybody untangled. Oh, goodness. Let's take a look. Oh, crap. Well, I'll just use this. Ooh, look at the purples and the greens and the tans. There's some more of that white. Didn't say, did it? No, it says 762. Beautiful. Look at that teal. Holy cow. Let's pull it over just a bit here. Mm. And I love that burgundy. And some bittersweet orange. And two shades of brown. Ooh, here's where the colors are. I mean, there's a lot of threads here. That's a full coverage. Just saying. I'm pretty sure. Burgundies. Bittersweets. Some darker teal. Turquoise. Lighter turquoise. Just beautiful colors. 
Then we have some grays, some more reds and golds and blues. Mm. Beautiful, beautiful colors. Let me just lay it like that and like that. And hopefully you can see it. Let me bring it over just a bit. There we go. Just beautiful. Nice mix of colors. And I was looking to see if it had any other writing. Sometimes they put the the product number on here. Sometimes they don't. So we'll see. That is a big old wad of thread. Let me get the white together with it and get our piece of paper out of the way. Oh yeah. This looks like a confetti nightmare. Now you can see the the key here. Nice big and long. I just love these Christmas scenes. So I don't know how much of this is going to show up or not show up. I can't even guess. The edges are all surged. Just lay that aside. Yeah. Nice thinner um, canvas that I like. I need a drink. Holy cow. But yeah, this is this is confettied. So I don't know how much of it'll you know, you'll just have to do it. I think I'd want to start right here. Because that's where those bigger buildings are. I don't know. It is what it is. Let's see. It does say at the top, hang on, if I can get it bent down. It has the product number. It says it's a 60 by 40 and it's 234 by 148. It is an 11 count. I like that. And this one is 60 that way. And looks like almost 41. So, it's a little bit wider than it said. The actual picture is 54 and a half. But, so, that's like 21 and a half. By 34 and a half. So, it's like and a half. So, 13 by 16. Wasn't that what that was? No, 13 by 21. So, yeah. And nice, clear, printed canvas. You can actually see it. You can see all the, what do you call it? The, the symbols really well. Let me put that away. Yeah, I love this. Mm. Nice. I like that thinner canvas. It's so easy to work with. It makes it a joy to stitch. You know, you're not fighting the canvas, and I don't know. They should all use it, but yeah, very nice, very nice. I don't care if it's confetti. That doesn't bother me one bit. I just start with one, what do you call it, one symbol and work my way through. But I don't work one symbol at a time through the whole thing. No, that ain't happening for this girl. But I will just pick an area to start and I'll do what's in that area and try to use one thread and finish it because that way I don't have to put the thread back yeah love it all right well that is everything that we got from them and DIY, DIY digital art has diamond painting cross stitch they have a separate joy Sunday they uh, section. They have regular and counter cross stitch. They have beaded cross stitch and embroidery. They have crafts for both diamond painting and cross stitch. They have uh, 
paint by number wax seal die cut jigsaws and they also do printed tote bags and they have a separate section under other like if you look at their main thing it'll say other it'll be on the left hand side they have home and garden lights and lighting tools and miscellaneous um, just another whole genre so you can shop for say the man in your family or somebody that's trying to finish their lawn or work on their lawn if it's that time of year so they have everything there which is nice they also I wanted to point out that they had diamond paintings in round square special and what they call luminous which is glow-in-the-dark drills yeah on some of their diamond paintings they're in fulls or partials I'm not sure how that all works out because I've never had one that had glow-in-the-dark um, drills uh, they also have latch hook and latch hook what do you call them tools so they have tools for the diamond painting cross stitch latch hook paint by number they've they've just got a lot of stuff going on and they also have the plastic uh, canvas crafts if you like to do those I've never done that I don't know quite how that would work but yeah I, I, I don't know it might be something that I might venture into you know if it was just gonna be a tissue box and something normal and plain but I've never stitched other than showing my granddaughter how to you know uh, do cross stitch we had a, a plastic canvas star that I was just trying to, to get her to look at the squares that kind of thing so that's as far as I've ever done um, let me see is there anything else and I want to see what some of their printed tote bags look like now I did get a printed I don't know if it was from here but I got a printed pillowcase so I'd like to see their tote bags and they also have I guess it's tapestry I, I can't it's it's like a a printed scarf that you would lay over you know like a little round accent table type stuff so they do those too all right, guys. Well, this is the end of part one, and we'll have part two tomorrow. Or, yeah, part two tomorrow. All right. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Thank you for joining me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And please hit the bell, and that way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe. Stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow. God bless. Bye-bye.